Hi, Simon here, and it's currently the worst time ever to be trying to build a PC for games development. I wrote an article a few months ago about putting together a mid-range development PC for game engines, compiling, art pipelines and the like. And since then a lot of people have been asking me to update it, as some big changes have happened in the industry and it's now very, very difficult to put together a PC and there are a lot of reasons that you need to actually maybe put it off for a few more months. So everyone thinks I'm going to talk about GPUs right now, I'm not. Actually, the biggest issue for most games developers is DRAM. DRAM is two to three times the price that it should be currently. A stick of 16 gigabyte DDR for a pretty average uh, machine will set you back about 180 pounds right now on UK websites. And so if you're looking at 32 gigabytes, which you may be wanting if you're doing a large amount of video editing, that's going to be costing you more than your CPU. So why is DRAM so expensive? There's no massive craze going on at the moment that's causing this, like with GPUs. The main issue is actually just demand. There are a lot of new phones coming out, such as the iPhone. Um, all the new flagships have a large amount of RAM in. Every laptop has a large amount of RAM in. And it's just a, a demand issue. Um, they're not producing enough. There's three main manufacturers with Samsung in the lead. Samsung have said that their supply is basically not going to increase massively for a large amount of time and so we can expect uh, the price just to stay high well into 2016, uh, 2016? Um, well into 2018 and maybe even into 2019. Problematically, even when this is solved, um, there's going to be DDR5 coming out in 2019 uh, so this may actually drive up prices again as demand drops off on DDR4 and DDR5 ramps up again. One of the other issues is SSDs. SSDs are getting more expensive and they're driving up the price of RAM. This is because it's very easy for the fabs to switch over between DRAM and NAND flash, which is in uh, SSDs. And there's more and more flash memory going into phones and going into laptops. You basically can't buy a laptop at the moment that doesn't have a spinning Rusk drive. So, after this, yes, we do need to get onto GPUs. GPUs have been going up in price since June last year, and they haven't stopped. The Bitcoin boom over Christmas has pushed up the altcoins. The altcoins are what are driving uh, the mining boom for GPUs, as the GPUs have very fast uh, memory access, and this fast memory access um, allows them to do a lot more hashes and so for those altcoins they can uh, basically make a lot more money on GPUs than they can uh, using ASICs for Bitcoin. So the issue with these is this is just going to continue. There's not really been a slump. I was hoping I actually recorded a video at New Year's hoping that this would drop off soon when people realized that the uh, cryptocurrencies were going to crash and it was all a scam and even though there has been a major crash and a lot of people are realizing it's a scam, uh, the demand is still very high and if you go on any PC gaming uh, supplies website currently, you basically can't get a GPU. The entire mid-range to the upper, such as uh, 1080s, um, are basically unavailable. You will find that basically 90% of models are sold out. Um, the demand is going to stay high and the supply is actually not going to drop off. This is because, oh, it's not going to increase. Um, the supply is not going to increase because late in the life cycle, um, no one's going to start producing a lot more cards because you've got to remember that the uh, current range of NVIDIA cards has been out for ages. The Vega cards are been out for a while but they're likely to be refreshed soon as well so there's not going to be new cards coming onto the market so there's not going to be an increase in supply until they come on the plus side they are coming the new volta cards are coming very soon and they're looking very good there's already a titan using volta on the market and those should be out in a few months and that might massively increase demand if you can wait for it um, the main problem is the Volta cards use HBM2, which is high bandwidth memory 2. This is actually quite hard to make, not many people are making it, it ties back into the DRAM shortage, 
and so these cards when they come out may actually be very expensive too. So you think, well, maybe I can just go on eBay, get a second-hand one. Um, currently, I would also advise against this. There are two major issues on eBay at the moment. First of all, is there are lots of scam cards. These cards are older cards, like an NVIDIA 550 or 430. It's had a custom cooler put on it, and then they flash the, the internal memory of the card to make it pretend to be a 960 or a 970. Um, and it's very hard to tell until you plug them in and start trying to use them for a game because they start crashing, they have lots of issues, but they do even report to the driver that they're a genuine card. Um, this is a, a big problem for anyone who goes on eBay and just buys one because you can't know um, unless you're effectively a reasonable expert on the subject matter. And secondly, there's another issue on eBay. The cards which are genuine are coming from Bitcoining rigs, oh, mining rigs. And these rigs have been running for months on end at 18, 90 degrees Celsius. These graphics cards are horribly aged. They will likely die well within their warranty period, which you won't have because you bought them second hand. You're gonna be suffering capacitors exploding, uh, things like warped uh, components. It's basically not worth it. It's very easy to go on eBay and just spot hundreds and hundreds of these cards just being dumped as all the hobbyist miners are dropping out. So there are other reasons, and they're not all negative reasons. Um, there's a new Ryzen uh, coming out soon, and this Ryzen refresh will offer uh, good performance and likely a drop in prices for other Ryzen's. So it's worth waiting a few months uh, to April to see what comes out. Intel will of course try and compete with them and so we may be seeing a new range of Intel CPUs um, even hopefully maybe ones that uh, don't have Spectre. <laughs> I mean of course that is uh, one of the main issues currently is if you're doing things like compiling you've just seen 20 to 30 percent performance decrease on any process that you have or were going to buy uh, thanks to the meltdown fix. Next up um, it's a small thing, but it's worth discussing, is cases. In the last year, there weren't many cases coming out and most of them were terrible. They all had tempered glass and LED lights in. But for most games developers, you know, we don't care about that. We want a silent case with good airflow. And there haven't been many cases like that. But it says last week, um, it seems like there are actually some good airflow cases coming out, so we can look forward to them soon. And some of them even have USB 3 Type-C on the front, which is actually a, a very small finicky thing, but for a games developer, if you're moving around files, you may have portable hard disks, or you may have new peripherals, such as some new headsets for VR and things, they may want the new USB standard, and you might want that on the front of your case. So it's worth waiting a few more weeks and to see if those new cases come up. So that's the problem at the moment. There are other things. I mean, of course, this is going to feed back into the games industry as in about a year we will have lost quite a lot of performance increase. Because usually when you're making a game, you expect your users to have 50% more powerful computers than when you started developing your game, looking at an 18 month cycle. Now you can actually expect them to have a slower PC with less RAM and a less good GPU. And that's a, a really weird thing to have to plan for, uh, but we're gonna have to do it. We're gonna switch to consoles. Anyway, I'll be back with more info later and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you to my patrons for their backing and I'll see you guys later. Bye.